Hi, this is John Hall with Annex Coin Grading. One of the first things that customers want to know when they're getting ready to send their first submission to us is what the best way to ship coins to us is. There's always a lot of questions that we get about this, so I want to show you real quickly the safest and easiest way to send coins to us, make sure they get to us in their proper shape. The first thing that you need to know is that the best thing to put coins in is Mylar flips. These are two and a half by two and a half flips that are PVC free, and they're really gonna be safe for your coins. They're gonna make sure they get there without any additional damage. And it's very easy to use Mylar flips. Of course, you wanna take your coins by the edges and you simply slide them into one of the pockets. The nice thing about these flips is they have two sides and it leaves the other side so that you can put in the information about your coin, which we've marked on a card. And then you just wanna make sure you shut these with the openings inside and the coin is gonna be safe in there. It's not gonna get out, it's not gonna move around. Go ahead and do this with all of these. And while I'm doing this, I do wanna let you know that it's a bad idea to try to get two coins into one of these flips. These flips are designed so that they each hold one coin. It's gonna give them sufficient protection on either side. And now that I have all of my coins in these flips, the temptation that you're gonna have the first time you send coins in is to tape these up or to staple them together, you're gonna to feel like your coins are safer that way. But the reason that you don't wanna do that is when these coins get to wherever they're going, somebody's gonna to have to get these back out. And if there's tape or staples in these, it's really gonna expose your coins to more potential harm. You just wanna make sure that when the person gets these, they can simply open them up and have access to your coins. And really all you need to ensure that that is the case is a simple rubber band. You take a rubber band, you take the flips that you've already done, and if you just wrap a rubber band around it like so, these things aren't going anywhere. These are ready to ship. The next important thing is what kind of container or containers you should ship coins in. Now this is a pretty small submission, so we have a lot of options. But the one thing, regardless of your submission size, that we tell people is to always use two layers. So in this case, I have two very simple things that I can get from the post office. Uh, this is a bubble mailer, and this is a simple box. And all I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna use the mailer for my inside layer. I'm gonna put the coins in like so. I'm gonna roll that up. And with all of these steps, you just wanna make sure that stuff can't move around. If stuff can't move around, your coins are gonna be safe. Then I'm just gonna take the box. I'm gonna put them in there. And I'm gonna seal the box. And don't forget your submission form. Now one thing that you can always do is put in some additional material if there's extra room in a box like that. In this case, I have bubble wrap, and I just go ahead and fill that extra space in with that. Close the box up, like so. And, and now I have a secure box, and if I take this and shake it, there's no way that the contents in there can move around. Now, if you have a lot more coins, you might wanna do a smaller box inside of a larger box and just make sure that it won't move around. But basically, if this is all one piece, your coins are gonna be absolutely safe. It's gonna be easier for the person on the other end to get to them, to do what they need to do with them, and you're, you're gonna be all set. The final thing you need to do is if you have one of our mailing labels, if you're sending these to Annex, you would just go ahead and affix that. And at this point, and this is really the first time in the process that you should use tape, you just wanna make sure you tape all the seams of this packaging shut and it's ready to go in mail. I hope this is helpful to you and thank you.